What are you doing with your phone? <laughs> I'm filming you. Where are we at? At Walmart, and we're getting crab, crab pots. Crab pots? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try to see if they have some crab pots. Go! We're at Walmart, me and the boy. Uh, Bodie has wanted to uh, put out some crawfish catchers, right? Some <laughs> yes. crawfish baskets, some crawl daddy catchers. That's what he likes to call them. Or crab pots. He likes that term too. I've wanted to do these videos for a long time. Y'all have asked for them my first time. Just watched some tip videos and we gotta grab some bait. And what else are we gonna grab? Bait and crab pots. Uh huh. Right? Bait and crab pots. Do you think they're gonna have what? Crab pots. We need. Do you think, yeah, do you think they're gonna have any? Yeah. Maybe. Well, that surprises me. They didn't have any crab catchers, did they? Mm -hmm. uh, but tip video that I watched said to buy this right here I did buy some this is 113 pound drop line this is what we use for bank line and catfish in the river don't we mm -hmm. I think it'll work uh, the video I watched was like you need to tie it off to like a t-post or a tree in case a raccoon or something uh, pulls that crab pot crawfish basket out of the water so here we are I would have never guessed it but I guess it does work this is um, soft dog food. What do you think about that? We're going to put this whole can in our crab catcher. I know, we call them crabs in our crawfish catcher, aren't we? Our crawl daddy basket. That's a better word, isn't it? Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know how many we should get. We will get two for now. Bubba. What? We had to make pit stop, didn't we? Yeah. I think we got something in our trap back here. If it's still in here last night, it was dark and I wasn't going to mess with it, but is it in there, Bubba? Okay. If you're new to the channel, one huge thing we do, we don't only trap um, crawfish. This is our first time, but we got into that because we trap pigeons. There's two of them. There's two snakes in there? Yeah. Oh one my goodness. Yesterday, yesterday there was only one, but here's the pigeon loft. Uh, we trap pigeons on rooftops. So um, if that interests you and you've never seen the videos, go check them out. Look at this. Finally, that's what it took, Bubba, them eggs. One of you guys dropped a comment uh, last year because we were having trouble losing our baby pigeons. Yes, the eggs would literally just disappear, wouldn't they, Bub? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now, yeah, we use them in a trap, crawfish trap. Look at that. He's got a, ooh, he tried biting. Ew. Ay, ay, ay. I hate snakes so much. There's two of them in there. They're both the same. Me too. Kind of looks like a gardener. What do you guys think? Bull snake, gardener. I think Ugh. that's a bull snake. Think it's a bull snake? It's a bull weed. Ugh, they freak me out. Ugh. Daddy, remember that time you tried to kill a snake with the shovel? <laughs> the big one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dad hates snakes. I mean, I am a jumpy baby when it comes to them. So we're going to take care of these two guys. Just relocate them off of the property. We don't need to dispose of them or anything like that. So let's come on, bub. Come on. Be quiet. Don't scare them. While we're here at the, uh, the lease pond and it's beautiful. Got a lot of moss happening. I don't know if you can see that right there. Check it out. Look at that. We got catfish. I don't know if you can see that guy right there, but we've had some really nice. Look, there's a bass. Oh, but get out of the water, you're scaring them, man. Way more catfish than I thought were here. I've never catfished the pond. Drop a comment down there. You know where. Right now, if you think me and Bubba should come catfish. You wanna come catfish, Bubba? Yeah. All right, I decided uh, we're gonna sit one. So we found some minnow traps. Uh, I have read up on, I've never put crawfish traps out, okay? This is me and Bubba's first time and uh, Dunham's had them. So there we go. We are about 20 bucks deep in uh, minnow traps. We are using for bait. Check it out. Bubba picked this out. Uh, line caught Alaskan cod salmon and sweet potato recipe dog food. Wet dog food. So <laughs> see if it works. All right, here we go. Here's our first crawfish trap. I don't know if you all can see all these huge, huge bluegill and catfish. I mean, I had no idea this many bluegill and catfish were in my lease pond. So here we go. We're just going to give her a toss. There she goes. 
she's in the water. So, we're gonna head over to the creek. Um, this is, uh, I only put about four holes in that can with my knife. I can't film it, so film it by myself. Bodie Dang sure ain't gonna film me holding the camera in the water. So, uh, we're gonna head to the creek. I, you guys, please drop a comment down below. How long do you let a crawfish uh, trap set before you come check it again? I'm saying a week, probably a week around there. Let me know. This is my first go at it. And again, like before, should we catfish it? I know, yeah, we gonna. But I haven't done turtle traps as well. Uh, like floating turtle traps. I think we should do that out here too. Cause when I pulled up, man, there are some huge bass. Those are way bigger than the bass that we've called out of here, Bubba. Uh -huh. And way more catfish. I am very surprised. The old Guggen goggles, you can see, you can see them. Polarized, come on, Bubba. If you're uh, looking for some good polarized, you know what's, head on over to GuggenSquad.com. I think they're only like 50 bucks, they're really affordable. And I think, use code BOB at checkout. I think that'll get you a discount. Come on, buddy. That's right. Well, we are down on the creek. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my little lease creek. Uh, this is wood duck heaven. Yes, we will hunt it next year. Uh, but as you can see, it's only a couple inches deep the whole way down. We have a little beaver dam right here. Uh, the start of one and we got a nice hole right here what do you think bub think it'll yep. work yep <laughs> you ready to go huh nice little hole there even might be a flathead or two in there but i got uh check it out we got it ready buddy yep can i throw it in well i don't want you to slip and fall in that's the problem because we got a steep bank right here bub how about you let daddy do it and then when we come and check it i'll let you pull it out okay okay all right here we go See how deep it is. Oh, come on, guy. Get in there. Ooh, it's not as deep as I was hoping, Bubba. Uh, there we go. Get down there. There we go. All right. We'll leave our string in there. It's fully submerged. Whew, success. So, I see it. I see it, too. Uh, we're going to see if we catch more here on the creek or on the pond. And I'm going to let it sit for a little while. So what do you guys think? We think we're going to catch more in the creek or in the pond? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Good job, buddy. Look at that. Good job. That is a hog. You can tell, guys, this is how I'm going to bite on your hook. <laughs> yeah. This is a huge bluegill. Check him out. Okay, I'll let you let him go. This is our bluegill out here. Just absolute monsters here hook him hold him tight come on hold him up to the camera show everybody how big that fish is that is huge good job buddy let him go there you go give me knocks good job didn't take long we hit the deal here you go good job that was far get ready keep that line tight buddy they ain't gonna take long all right, what I'm using today, guys, uh, a big spinner. I've been having really good luck with just a big old, nice white chartreuse. Uh, yep, nice white chartreuse, big spinner. Oh, nope, nope, he came off. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I am using the Guggen Squad finesse spinning pole. Oh, Bodie's just losing his mind over here. There you go. Hold on, wait for it. Let him take it all the way under, dude. There we go. My first fish of the day. Come up here, buddy. Woo, that's a good one, isn't it? There we go. Oh, calm down there, Billy. All righty. Healthy fish, look at that guy. Very healthy fish. Reel it up. He's on, rod tip up, rod tip up. There you go. So you gotta pull that, ooh, he's a big bass. Good job. Rod tip up, up, there you go, you know what I mean? There we go, Dude, good job. That hook. Yeah, he didn't get it that time, that's good. Yeah, we sure. put a little bigger hook on you today, so here you go, Bubba. Look at that, hold it up and show everybody at home. Show them, yeah, Bubba. First bass of the day for Bubba, you're on the board. Go let him go. 
Yep, he's a pretty bass. There we go. Big thumbs up for Bodie Allen. Give me pound dogs. Boom! That last bass I caught I literally hit it right here. Oh, there you go. Rod tip up. Good job. Bodie's on again. Look at him. Look at that. Another quality bluegill. Look at that guy. That looks like a sunfish. Kind of looks like a sunfish, don't it? You're right, buddy. Bodie just said there is nothing better than fishing our little pond. You're right, bub. Good job. Rod tip up. Another bluegill, buddy. More bluegill. Here, mine. Reel them in there. You guys at home, you guys got to tell me and Bodie, educate us a little bit because we are hunters. We're not the best or biggest fishermen out there, are we, buddy? We're not, the best <laughs> We're not the best fishers ever. Uh, this one looks real sunfishy to me. Like, look at the belly. You guys got to let us know at home. Bluegill, sunfish, hybrid. It's All right, hybrid. here you go. A hybrid is a mix between two different species. Oh, Bubba, hold. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> here, hurry, hurry, don't lose him. Real, real. <laughs> he was already here. That didn't work very well, buddy. There we go, on the spinner. Hold your pull up. Absolutely nothing is biting over here, so we're gonna find a new spot. Oh, something bit it. Okay, well, as I'm reeling it in, <laughs> look at that, Bub. I was reeling it in and a bass hit it. Isn't that funny? That's a big one. Look at that guy. Woo! That With the Spider-Man rod. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice one. I was reeling it in and he hit it. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. That's the biggest of the day. I'll be darned. That's a large marge right there. That's the biggest one of the day. Dad, gum, Bubba. Look. Look how big that mouth is. Give him a sniff. Give him a sniffy. Look. Oh, it smells like good fish. There you go. Here, give him one more sniffy. Give him one sniffy. No. He's gonna fall out of your hand. That's a good fish. Yep. All righty. We're down here to check the old crawfish traps. Okay, that we, you don't want to check for snakes on you. <laughs> on you or ticks on you? Ticks. Ticks, yeah. We've been having big issues in Kansas with them ticks nasty everywhere that's right they are the worst buddy but here's the first uh crawfish trap it is now smothered in this moss so i'm gonna have to drag it out i have no idea if anything's in there there were some nasty snakes up here up in here yesterday watch out for my camera buddy here we go here's our pole there's our line what do you think bub you think we got something on it Come over here. Come over here, buddy. You can come right here. Come on. Stay up against the weeds. Here you go. Come help me. This is interesting. We have never done anything like this, have we, buddy? No. I thought we got something in it. I don't know. Some stuff. Oh, it's... Anything in there? I don't see anything. I don't know. It is covered in moss. Okay. Uh, <laughs> looks like the only thing is one, look at that, a little baby bass. That's what it looks like that's in there. See that? Yeah! <laughs> Let's get him out. Oh boy, look at this mess. Baby, baby I'm not going to let him get out. I'll give him to you. Hey, look, Bubba brought his bucket just for this. All right, we're almost there. we just caught a baby bass? <laughs> I think it's a baby bass. Everybody at home will have to tell us. Yeah. Dog food's still good, though. I can smell it. Yeah. Do you smell it? No. You can't smell it? No. All right, what do we got in here? I can grab that one. Don't lose him. It's Bobby. There you go. Let's see him. Let me see him. Everybody at home, what is that? That definitely is a baby bass, buddy. That's cool. Don't drop him. All right, well, I'm going to put it together and get it back out there. No luck yet. 
but we have the creek to go check yet so i guess we're gonna keep running this uh this one over here try to get it past there we go that's a good spot isn't it bub all right let's go to the creek nope all right we're on our way to the creek careful going over that bub let me have your hand i got it come on ready come on there you go yeah there's a bunch of poison ivy don't touch it with your hands yeah, the last time we went through here, we went home and both had ticks on us. That's the bad thing about it. Come on, Bubba, get down here. All right, the old creek. Stay down here on the bank. There ain't ticks down here, buddy. Look at this, beautiful. We gotta come duck hunt this, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is beautiful. We're gonna come do some wood duck hunting down here. Cause I can guarantee it's good. There's something up here. Oh. Look at that, look, look, look. In the water, see that? What? Beyond, look. It's a big turtle, look, in the water. That's the deal. See it? That's a big turtle. <laughs> Careful going over all this stuff, buddy. Watch for snakes. Here, let me go first. I'll help you. I guarantee you that turtle's coming to look at our our uh, crawfish pot yeah. because we got that bait in there. He smells it. Do you think we have anything in there, buddy? Yeah. He thinks so. Yep. Oh, look at that turtle! Look at that turtle! He's right at our pot. Look, there he is. Look at that. <laughs> is that cool? Stay back from the edge. Oh, yeah. Right yeah, it's a big turtle. He's right on our crab pot, buddy. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me pull it up. Are you ready? Do you think we have anything? Let's see what we got. Look at that. No crawfish. But we have some... Yeah, crawfish! Where? Right there, see? Oh, we got one! High five! Yeah. We got one, our first one, buddy. Yeah. That's we awesome. Put the fish, oh, kids. we need your bucket. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't bring your bucket. All right, we're gonna have to go get your bucket and load these guys up, but let's take a look at them real quick. Let's look. So we'll go there, we'll go there and see Isn't that they cool? Look let's see. Don't lose, look at, don't lose that little fish right there. Oh yeah, this little guy. Look at that, first one. He's pinching on, look. Look at that. Guy. There he is. He's missing a pincher. Look. Yeah, he's missing one. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? That's a success. Look at all these minnows, buddy. <laughs> That's a lot of minnows. Yeah, look, we got one, two, oh, one, two, three, something, five fish in there and one crawfish. Yeah, one crawfish. Heck yeah, we won. We're gonna leave it in this hole. That's a good hole, that's a good sign. This is the only hole that's offered in the least portion. And what I mean by least portion, the portion that I lease for hunting and fishing. So only place to put them. All right, come here, buddy. Can I tell him something? Yeah, tell him whatever you want. Guess what, who's ever watching this video? We saw a big turtle. That was a big turtle. I wish we could have showed them, huh? Well, buddy, I think that this is a good spot. I think we should keep running it here. Okay, watch out, let me get it in there. Well, since we only caught one crawfish, that isn't enough for a catch clean cook yet, so we're gonna keep trying here. All right, we got her back in there. Good to go. If you guys have any other ideas what me and Bodie should do down here on the creek, any more type of trapping, any type of fishing, if the creek was deeper, I would really, really, really uh, would like to do some trout lining, some trout lining, trout lining, and some bank lines. But as you can tell, it is very, very shallow. Unfortunately, we are low on rainfall still. All right, let's go, buddy. That was awesome. Woo. Next day. Uh, so we have the uh, crawl daddy traps. We got them uh, baking. They are still in the same spots. I want to move more with better bait to the creek and to the river. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna start hitting up the river 
Uh, you guys have been wanting some more bank lining, the river. I went and bought everything to do it. We are starting those videos back up. We're supposed to be getting a lot of rain uh, today and tomorrow. So hopefully that river's gonna come up a little bit and provide some premium bank line fishing. I love it. We hammer, I catch huge flathead out of my river and I mean big ones. They're a lot of fun. The videos are fun and I, I miss them so much. So that's firing up. Uh, if you didn't catch the last video, uh, at the end of that video, I set all of the pigeon traps. So that's going. That's what I'm going to do right when I get done uploading this video is go check the traps. And I've let them bake for a good amount of time. Guarantee you we got them in there. So don't miss those videos as well. What bait would be the best in creeks and rivers? What bait should I use? Is the dog food like, is that key or is there something better? please let me know. Thank you guys for being here. Like I always tell you, hit the notification bell down there. It will notify you when I upload. I appreciate it, y'all. If you haven't checked out my podcast, Blind Talk, it's where we talk waterfowl hunting, hunting topics, farmers, leases, anything and everything. Our tips, our tricks, and everything else. So check that out. P.S. The Lodge, Sand Hill Flyway Lodge, I put it on Airbnb. So if any of y'all are interested in coming and staying a night two nights it's on there